Hi everyone, uh, this is the instructor Asma Mustaq from Double Vice, and in today's lecture, I will show you how you can create detachment for a very low HTML module uh, that is actually written in the gate level approach. Okay, uh, so starting uh, with this circuitry, let's say here is this circuit that I want to implement or I want to write the gate level code for this. Since I am having the logical diagram for this, that's why I have taken this approach. Which another approach that I can take for writing the code for this is the assignment statement. Okay. So starting uh, with the given information, you can see here are four inputs A, B, C, and D, and only one output is present. Another input variable for evaluating the and of this particular circuit is taking the complement of C. Okay, so looking at this, we have four inputs and one output, and there are certain interconnections between the gates, like the output of this gate is connected to the input of this gate. Similarly, the output of this gate is connected to the input of these gates. Such type of the connections or interconnections are named as wires in the Verilog programming. So if you look at this, there are basically four wires. I have named them as W1, W2, W3, and W4. Since for evaluating the AND expression, we need B and C complement. So for evaluating C complement, we will not declare it as an input since it's the note of this given input C. I will also name it as wire W5. Here you can see I have written the code for this. And for writing the code or for understanding the concept of the module creation, you can watch the lecture that is available in the playlist. Fine. Once you have written the code, for this, you can check its syntax by just right clicking on it and you can see a green tick mark appears for it. Our task is to create or to learn how to create the test bench for the given module. If you will right click on the dot v file, you will get the options by clicking on the new source. And here you can see there is an option very log test fixture. You can name it any. Let's say I name it as test B. E. And then I'll click on next, next, and finally finish. And automatically, window will appear corresponding to this dot V file. And you can see in the test bench waveform, the inputs are declared as the register and these inputs are same like that in the Verilog module. Fine. And then you have declared the output as wire in the test bench. The rest of the information is not needed. We will delete it. Similarly, here the input variables are initialized and after 100 nanoseconds, they will reset to finish. But I will not use this information. Okay, I'll write the test bench code for it by myself, just like I have did over here. And here you can see, let's just close this window because uh, we don't need it. Okay, in fact, you can delete it as well. But right now, let's just focus on how I have written this test bench code. Okay. Uh, I have given the same name to it or I have instantiated my module with the keyword M1 and I have passed it the parameter list. Each test bench is started with the reserve keyword initial and terminate its execution when the finish words arrive.
this initial and finish block is enclosed with the particular set of statement that start with the reserve keyword begin and terminates with the end in between these two keywords you actually define the values of your input variable so here a b c and d all are one bit number and you can see they are binary numbers since i have used the notation b a is a one bit binary number having the value zero b is a one bit binary number having the value zero c is the one bit binary number and it is having the value one then after 200 nanoseconds a will switch from zero to one b will switch from zero to one and similarly c will switch from one to zero and d will switch from one to zero once you are done with the setting of these variables you can see this simulation will terminate after 500 nanoseconds and here you will have to write the end module as well okay so let's just click on this test bench and if you check its behavioral syntax then there is no error as green tick mark appears and now let's just simulate it once you will simulate it you will see this window pops up and just click on the default waveform settings and here you can see if you will click on the zoom to fit here you can see when a b are 0 and c d are equal to 1 the function value is equal to 0 and when a b both are equal to 1 and c d 